today we turn a bag of concrete into a flower pot. First of all, we need to gather our materials. This would include a power drill, measuring tape, paintbrush, gloves, cooking oil, quick crete Portland cement, quick crete play sand, a vessel to measure your concrete and sand in, a bucket to transport water or a hose, the mold itself, and a wheelbarrow. Now that we're dying a heat stroke, it's time to start assembling our mold. As you can see, the mold works by interlocking layers that overlap with one another. This allows each layer to connect to the previous layer, creating our mold. One would find it advantageous to use painted or varnished wood because the concrete will not adhere to it, making it easier to unmold later. After building this monstrosity, you might be wondering, that's great, but I wasn't looking to make a paperweight today. And that's where this piece comes in. To make it a flower pot, you need a negative space in the middle where your soil and flowers can go. As you can see, my insert is made from scraps of plywood I had lying around and a piece of metal cut for the bottom. Now, taping the bottom one did not prove efficient, so I had to staple it on. The idea was that I would have standoffs and the, the long top pieces would sit on those, suspending the insert just where I wanted it. We took the top off our mold, and it's almost ready for concrete, but first we need lubrication. To make sure our mold releases from our final product, I covered everything in a thin layer of canola oil. Now the mold is well prepared, it's time to prepare our concrete. I started by mixing Quickcrete Portland cement to two parts Quickcrete play sand. I added and mixed in water in small amounts until I liked the consistency. You want to make sure that you mix everything into a consistent mixture with no dry spots. Now that the concrete is done, it's time to fill the mold. I started by adding a little in the bottom and then inserting my insert. My standoff idea ended up not working, and I had to resort to weighing down the insert. Also, I had to staple on the bottom of the insert, because tape did not work. Make sure to rock, shake, and hammer your mold as you fill it to get rid of surface voids. Now it's been 24 hours since we poured the mold, and it's time to unmask our masterpiece. When it came to unmolding, the E middle insert was a little difficult to get out. However, with perseverance, I did eventually get it out. The outside, however, came out without a hitch, essentially falling off as I unscrewed it. Here we are with our finished flower pot, made from Quick Crete Portland cement. Thanks for taking this journey with me. Have a nice day.